Carla is in hospital. Yesterday, when she was going to university, she fell off her bicycle. It was raining. Her bicycle slipped on wet grass. She hit her head on the ground. Now, she is lying in a hospital bed. She cannot move, and she cannot speak. The nurse gave her lots of medicine. Carla feels very sleepy. Her mother and father are with her. They are talking with the doctor. When can she come home? asks Carla's mother. The doctor looks at Carla's file. He looks at the x-ray of her head. I don't know, he says. She hit her head on the ground really hard. There is some damage. We have to do some more tests. Will she be okay? asks Carla's father. The doctor looks at Carla's father. I cannot answer that question. We need to do some more tests. The doctor leaves the room. Carla's mother starts to cry. Carla looks at her mother, but she cannot speak. We'll visit you tomorrow, says her father. Try and get some rest. Carla tries to say goodbye, but she cannot. They hug Carla and leave the room. Carla looks around the hospital room. It is very quiet. She is alone. The late afternoon sun comes through the window. The sun is warm and bright. Carla wants to close the curtains, but she cannot. She closes her eyes and falls asleep. Carla wakes up. The curtains are closed. It is very dark in the room. She looks at the clock. It is 3 a.m. She hears something move in the room. What is that? She thinks. Then she sees a light. It is a nurse. The nurse has a candle. She is looking at Carla's file. That's strange, thinks Carla. Why does she have a candle? The nurse looks at Carla. She smiles. Carla smiles at the nurse. Then, she looks at her uniform. The nurse's uniform is different from the other nurses. It looks old-fashioned. The skirt is very long. How are you feeling? asks the nurse. My head hurts, says Carla. The nurse looks at the file. Then, she writes something on a piece of paper. You will be fine, she says. She walks to the side of the bed. She opens the bedside drawer. She puts the piece of paper inside the drawer. What's that? says Carla. The nurse doesn't say anything. She just smiles. Then, she walks out of the room and closes the door. Carla falls asleep. The next morning, Carla wakes up. There is a nurse in the room. She is opening the curtains. Good morning, says the nurse. Carla sits up. Good morning. Are you the nurse with the candle? The nurse looks at her. She is very surprised. Carla seems very well. Pardon, says the nurse. Last night, there was a nurse in my room. She had a candle, says Carla. The nurse says, no, there were no other nurses here last night. I was alone. And I don't have a candle. But the nurse here at 3 a.m. had a candle, says Carla. The nurse smiles. 
Carla, you have taken lots of medicine. The medicine makes you sleepy. And it makes you dream a lot. You saw the nurse with the candle in a dream. I'm going to the toilet, says Carla. She stands up and starts walking to the door. No! No, shouts the nurse. You can't walk. But Carla is walking fine. The nurse is very shocked. She shouts, Doctor! Doctor! The doctor comes into the room. He looks at Carla. Lie down. Lie down, he shouts. Carla lies down. The doctor looks at her eyes. He looks at the machine next to her bed. This is strange, he says to the nurse. Get a wheelchair. The nurse brings a wheelchair. They put Carla in the wheelchair and take her to the x-ray room. All the doctors in the hospital look at the x-ray photographs. They cannot believe it. Carla's head is better. What happened? What happened, say the doctors. Maybe the nurse with the candle gave me some medicine, says Carla. Which nurse, asks the doctor. I don't know her name. She came to my room last night, says Carla. The nurse shakes her head. No doctor, I was the only nurse here last night. I didn't go into Carla's room, she says. They take Carla back to the room. Later in the afternoon, the doctor says to Carla, you can go home. I will call your mother and father. Carla gets dressed. She puts her items in her bag. She checks the room. Do I have everything? She thinks. She opens the drawer of the bedside table. Inside the drawer, she sees a piece of paper. She looks at it. There is a message on the paper. Clara, be careful when you ride your bicycle in the rain, from Samantha Rees. Clara puts the message in her bag. At the reception desk, Clara, her mother and father say goodbye to the doctors and nurses. I have a question, says Clara. Who is Samantha Rees? Samantha Rees? She was the first nurse at this hospital says the doctor. Does she still work here? asks Clara. No, of course not, says the doctor. She died twenty years ago. But she was a very good nurse. Everyone said, we feel better when we see Samantha Rees. I see, says Clara. Why do you want to know about her? asks the nurse. No reason, says Clara. She smiles and walks out of the hospital into the warm afternoon sun. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe for more videos, press the bell icon and select all to get notifications.